Hey there, this maniacs. How are you doing today? The weather's been really cold and challenging in Finland, and I've uh, pretty much ended my season already. But since I got a really cool Christmas present from Discmania, I couldn't resist to go out today and try these. So today we're talking about the MD1 as well as the new Discmania manufactured FD. Really excited about this. And lastly, the Eagle McMahon Signature. Cloudbreaker 3. Also super excited about this as it's the first S-Line, new S-Line Discmania manufactured discs that I had. So uh, today was really cold like uh, 10 to 11 degrees below zero with the wind chill giving it even much more and uh, as it was super windy I only got to try them out uh, basically in a tailwind situation and so I can't really say all that much about how they fly when it's neutral out. I had some uh, one disc for each of them to compare it with. So for the MD1 I had the Origin which is uh, my understable mid-range in the bag. And let's have a quick look. So you can notice the MD1 is noticeably convex in the lower part of the rim and it's a little bit deeper than the origin not too much but just so that it fills your hand really nicely so an excellent feeling disc in your hand kind of reminds me how the logic feels when you grip it for the first time so fills up your crease of your hand nicely the fingers go in and feels really solid uh, this one has got some dome to it and uh, seems like it's uh, not super understable pretty much like neutral uh, with good glide I'd say the origin is maybe a little bit more understable than that one uh, so first impressions really um, like trustworthy flyer that it's not gonna do anything uh, you don't expect it to so you can uh, like uh, carve lines with it because uh, you can just uh, adjust your angle when you're throwing it So we'll see how that goes, but it might take a place in the bag instead of the origin I don't feel like there's place for both of them really So uh, for the FD um, Currently my understable fairway in the bag is an essence and there was clearly a difference between these two so um, the essence is much more understable than the FD uh, Even previously different runs of the FD obviously have uh, different stabilities as this is the uh, first uh, new Discmania manufactured C-Line FD I feel like this falls somewhere in the uh, stable part of the spectrum but with a really really good glide so uh, especially as I was throwing uh, downwind shots uh, I was matching the DD3s uh, almost with this thing. So I could put this uh, in a quite bit of Anheuser, watch it slowly flex out of it and uh, really carry on during the fade. So it's not a very biting fade or a dumping one. So it uh, got really good distance. And the plastic feels awesome. I call this the squeaky factor because you can feel how much grip you get on this and even in the cold conditions I didn't feel like I was losing any grip at all so awesome looking plastic and I feel like uh, this is a disc that uh, will serve a lot of people uh, even with uh, much more power than me so really excited about the Discmania in-house manufacturing as for the DD3, uh, I got a pretty fresh uh, Echo S-Line uh, DD3 to compare it to and uh, as these are more on the uh, understable side of DD3s um, the Cloudbreaker 3 was right in there maybe a little bit 
uh, even less understandable than those ones, but uh, it might depend on, on the, what kind of uh, dome, for example, you have. So they say the domier ones of these are more stable. Uh, this one has like a moderate dome, I would say, not all that much, just a little bit of pop to it. So, um, and this is also 171 grams as opposed to the max weight Echo S line. So I got pretty decent distance with this that you can put it on quite a bit of Anheuser and have it flex out, but not too much. Uh, or if you put it on more Anheuser and higher up, uh, you can get pretty long Anheusers with it. But uh, Certainly I'm more in the understable realm of things as it goes for DD3s. Really good feeling plastic, quite good flex. Like, and just like I like the DD3s, you can really dig in to the flight plate. Kind of like you're gripping only the rim of it and really digging in with the fingers to get maximum grip before you throw it. So, really excited about this disc too, uh, to see how it performs uh, when the temperatures get up to uh, t-shirt and uh, shorts weather again. So, these are my first thoughts on these three discs. And like I said, it's really nice to get Discmania manufactured plastic. So for now, we have the P2, we have the MD3 in C line, then we got the MD1 and DD3 both in C line and S line, and the FD should be coming out early 2022, and uh, the PD is also in the pipeline. So, other than those models that have been announced. Uh, I don't know yet what the schedule is, but it's really nice to see the lineup filling out and how they come out. So far, I think uh, all of the ones they've made have been hits and no misses. So, here's to Happy Holidays, Christmas, Kwanzaa, Festivus, or whatever you want to celebrate, or if you're ce celebrating anything. but. Have a nice end of the year and see you again in 2022.